Hello class, hello teachers, welcome in this lesson video. So for today, we are going to talk about factorial. So this topic is very essential when you are learning permutation and combination. Now before we proceed to the lesson, so hello again. Should you have questions or requests, you may write it in the comment section or please email me at this email address. For my students, please email me at uh, please email me using our school account. Now what is factorial? Factorial of a number is the product of all the whole numbers from the number down to 1. For example, 5 factorial. This is the symbol that we use to denote factorial. So it's like the exclamation point we use in English. So 5 factorial is equal to the product from 5 down to 1. So it is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So when you get uh, the product, it is equal to 120. Now it is given that 0 factorial is equal to 1. I will talk about this in the next video on how to prove 0 factorial is equal to 1. So to illustrate this further, Let's look again this example. So 5 factorial is equal to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Now this can also be written as 5 times 5 minus 1, which is 4. And then 3, notice that it is 5 minus 2. 2 is 5 minus 3. And then 1 is 5 minus 4. So when you look at the pattern, when you look at this, we will come up with this generalization. So this is the big concept. So n factorial is equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 factorial. So notice that there's still this factorial symbol because it goes on and on. Uh, n minus 3, you can continue this with n minus 4, n minus 5, and if you want to stop at n minus 6, now you have to put this uh, factorial symbol. So you can use the, this definition uh, when you're dealing with some algebraic uh, problems involving factorial. Let's take a look at uh, these examples. Okay, so evaluate expressions with factorials. First one is find the value of 9 factorial. So based from the definition, it is going to be 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So again, until you reach 1, so you multiply all of these factors and you will get 362,880. Second uh, example is evaluate 9 factorial divided by 6 factorial. So that means we need to write out each factorial and then just simplify. So what is 9 factorial? It is 9 times 8 times 7 up to 1. And then what is 6 factorial? It is 6 times 5 times 4 up to 1. And then of course we need to simplify. So we can cancel out 6, 5, and 5 here, 4, and 4, cancel out 3, cancel out 2, and of course 1. And of course we have to multiply the remaining factors and then we will get 9 times 8 times 7 which is equal to 504. Yep. Okay, now let's try number 3. Evaluate 10 factorial divided by 8 factorial times 5 factorial. Now you can uh, use the definition by expanding the factorial as 10 times 8, 9 times 8 up to 1 or you can decide actually to stop at a certain number because the denominator here will give you a clue when to stop because later on you can actually cancel it out. So to see what I'm trying to say here, so 10 factorial is 10 times 9 times 8 factorial. So I stop at 8 factorial because I know that I can cancel it out with the 8 factorial in the denominator. Alright, so you can definitely do that. So the denominator will give you the hint where to stop, right? And of course, 5 factorial, uh, you can expand that as 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 
So, and of course, you can simplify. Uh, you can cancel out 8 factorial and 8 factorial, cancel out the common factors. And then we can cancel out also 10 here and 5 and 2 down there. All right. And of course, there's a common factor between 9 and 3. All right. And of course, the last step will be uh, multiply whatever is left out. And of course, the final answer is 3 fourths. Now let's try answering this number 4. Rewrite using factorial notation. 10 times 9 times 8 all over 3 times 2 times 1. It's, let's look at the denominator because it's easier to uh, rewrite that using factorial notation, which is actually 3 factorial, correct? So this is how it's going to look like. Now, the issue now is in the numerator. If only this is multiplied up to 1, then we will have something like a 10 factorial. But we can use the identity property of multiplication, wherein if you multiply this by a certain expression that is equal to 1, then uh, it will still be equivalent. So uh, this is how it's going to look like. So if this is going to be multiplied 10 up to 1, then it is factorial. So what we added here is we multiply this expression by 7 factorial over 7 factorial, right? So uh, that means this can be cancelled out. So therefore, we will have the numerator as 10 factorial and the denominator will be 3 factorial times 7 factorial. So we're done. So we have already written this expression, uh, the question in factorial notation. Let's go to number 5. Rewrite using factorial notation n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3. Let's go back to the definition of n factorial is equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 time, times n minus 3 factorial. So this one has a factorial. So that means this is not equal to n factorial. Now, by the way, n factorial can also be written as this, n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 times n minus 4 factorial. So you can uh, even extend this to n minus 5 as long as there is a factorial in at the end. Okay, so how can we now rewrite this using factorial notation? So from here, this can give us a clue, right? Again, using identity property of multiplication, we can multiply the expression by n minus 4 factorial over n minus 4 factorial, right? So therefore, the numerator now, as you can see, is equal to n factorial and then divided by n minus 4 factorial. Okay, so hope that you learned something from today's lesson video. Now, I would like to thank Slides Carnival for the free PowerPoint presentation templates. So check this out. So you will find a lot of uh, very nice PowerPoint templates. And of course, to my daughter and to my wife, my daughter actually came up with that introduction video and that uh, custom thumbnail. Thank you very much. All right, so see you once again. See you next time. Thank you very much for listening.